to Hamtaro Rainbow Rescue and the last part, absolutely no idea what happened. And this part, I, I think we go yeah. back to the elementary school. Yeah, I completely forgot what the fuck happened Did last we talk night. to Tommy T or something? <laughs> Tommy T! Tommy T so and Eggy P, yeah. No, yeah, we talked to Oh, I love those too. We talked yeah. to I just love the post game in this, in this game. I know I talked about this to you guys, and I just talked about Takiri before you popped up, but it's so fun, because you can get more hamsters, and you can go to more locations, or you can go to new places in the same locations. It's way cool. Yeah, I just don't like how you're limited to eight of the hamsters, and Hamtaro has to be one of them. That's first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think, I think on the first playthrough, when I was a child, it was more of an inconvenience than it is now. Like, it's, it's um, less... When I'm doing the recording, but... It, it's yeah. less restrictive than Mario RPG, at least, where uh, you can only have up to three, and Mario has to be one of them. But yeah. the thing about that is oh, that, that one, works. you could switch them on the fly so long as you weren't out in battle, and two, uh, the Mario Geno Peach formation was the only one that actually mattered. <laughs> Yikes. I know this one you guys got to kind of see the inconvenience of only being able to have a certain amount of hamsters when we had to get Solara back at the uh, All right. Sunflower Ranch. Time we to had get... to run back and get back and get Stan. <laughs> but it's okay because Stan had a American feeling that it was going to be a wonderful day. <laughs> yeah. He's got a feeling. Um... Oh, I wonder where we're going now. Yeah, you got it. But yeah, you got to go all the way back to the clubhouse. It's like, all right, we're going back. We're I'm turning around. We're dropping you <laughs> off. We're bringing him. <laughs> fuck off and stay home. <laughs> you know, I think I'm free. <laughs> I just honest. imagine that fucking happening. <laughs> like, I will oh turn God. this group around if you don't <laughs> stop arguing. <laughs> But I'll do it also even if you don't stop arguing because That's I need to stand in my party and he's not here. <laughs> I think we're going to explore the new place that we're allowed to go to um, in Sunflower Elementary. That being said, I, technically, I think there is a capability to go back to the clubhouse at any moment after you get the ingredients. You have to press either start or select or something. Maybe. Don't quote me on that. But... Um, I've been I think, oh man, I really struggled with this turtle good. food. Does it really? Have you tried it? I'm worried about it. <sighs> turtle food? Oh, As in the oh, kibble man. stuff or just the vegetables that they like to eat? Mm, vegetables. Oh, uh, I think it's the kibble. No matter how much I ask, he won't split it with me. What a cheapskate. Oh, Isn't there another way to get it? That's why we're talking. Drugs? All right, huh. I'd like to try that. That turtle food is the turtle euphemism food. for drugs. <laughs> yeah, I bet it's oh, really no. delicious. Maybe turtle food is like heroin or something. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love to eat heroin. Delicious. Don't you? Is that not normal? Maybe it's sold in stores. Yes, Leek. Well, let's, let's see. Well, if we're thinking look. about it like that, I bet Boss knows something about the distribution of turtle food. Hey, let's yeah. start an initiative nah, to legalize turtle food. Turtle food below me. <laughs> oh, who's in charge of that department? Uh, I'll draft the petition. The Chicky Chicky Gang. What? Gabe no. can go out and get Wait, signatures. Wait, hang on a second, hang on a second. The rival gang is in charge of an export that we don't even deal with? Yep. <laughs> Man. You know what, that would make sense. I mean, they don't want to, we're stepping on their turf, but they don't want to, and they're stepping on ours. It's just a big gang war, man. Yeah. It's like the Bloods and Crips. It's, it's yeah. It's hamsters versus the chickens in the chicky chicky gang. Yeah, the ham hams versus the chicky chickies. This oh, turtle food's got a it. unique and complex flavor, one that melts in your mouth. Munch munch. It definitely a proper around. snack for a gourmet ham ham. It's a better voice. He's gonna turn around and you're gonna see him fucking, his skin is flaking, his eyes are fucking bugging out of his head. <laughs> you know, I made him sound He has the shakes. Posh. I don't really know, like, I don't really know if I was successful, but I was trying to make him sound mid-Atlantic, because, yeah, he did um, as posh. Prozy D said, anyone with a mid-Atlantic accent is someone who's not British, but wishes they were. Yeah, mid-Atlantic accents, are the, the, that was, isn't that the fa a fabricated accent for old TV shows, so it would appeal to both British and American audiences? Because it meant that somewhere right in the me. middle. Mm -hmm. We learned that in acting. That was super common in like really cool. I, I I like I, I know I've seen like a, some like movies from the sixties and that's like yeah, that's definitely they definitely use made up accents in there. 
Yeah. I think most old TV shows it's like, to how appeal do you, to a broader how, audience. It's like, hey, like, what part of the world do you... does somebody speak like this, huh? Does anybody actually? Yeah. It's like, <laughs> Nowhere, it's you... fabricated. It's like, how... How would you... Uh, turtle like... hurdle. That's actually... I'm gonna sacrifice thing. Penelope to the turtles. <laughs> uh, Penelope will live. The turtle, on yeah. the other hand. <laughs> <laughs> the turtle will do aren't... everything it can to uh, escape the event horizon. We that aren't is sacrificing Penelope. Penelope to the turtles. We're sacrificing the turtles to Penelope. <laughs> when we said turtle right, food, right. we mean the turtles are becoming right. food. She's a black hole. That's our yeah. Wow. Oh that was God. mad fast, <laughs> Carrie. <laughs> I imagine, like, Carrie pressed it too soon and she was like, Oh, that was a happy exit. <laughs> <laughs> it almost too soon, if you guys see the configuration of those yeah. turtles. Yeah, you did press the sticker. Oh sticker. my god, it's the weed number! <laughs> That's the weed sticker. It is. Smoke that and you that get means. the dankest yeah, you smoke high. A, yeah, you smoke a fucking sticker of an open window. <laughs> Your mind Power will be open up. And... What is it? Oh, it's you want to ask about the turtle food case? I've become bored Atlantic. with my work. Any case or mystery I find to be much too simple. And sure. not an invitation? The Rainbow find, Theater, I'd like really to go, your but for you. I must decide what turtle food tastes like. Until I've come oh. to a conclusion, I must stay in this area. You see, okay, 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 here's oh. the lore, all right? Um, so he's still working on the murder case from before, but it turns out that it was also a drug operation involving illegally exported turtle food. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's actually not a good detective, and everybody always solves his cases for him, like we did for him. He's just, it's just a cover. He's Is, called was that drugs. another? Was that scout? I that mean, was, was that sniper? That was, yeah, that was sniper. What the fuck? That's so weird. Because the audio awesome. started glitching out again, so I just oh, skipped. <laughs> Right for emulators. This was before I updated my emulator, which fixed most of my issues. What emulator are you Ray using? Emulator. Uh, MGBA. Okay, that's. The I one liked you Visual should. Boy. I liked Visual Boy Advance, but then it stopped. My uh, computer stopped supporting it, so I had Call to use uh, Visual Boy. M oh. MGBA instead. Gabe. Gabe. Uh, M uh, MGBA is like, like arguably. <laughs> It's probably the uh, best GBA emulator on the uh, internet right now. Um, I mean, as far as open source stuff goes. Uh, yeah, yeah, I had to update it, though. I think I was running an older version of it. Oh, guys! My great hell? song is nearing completion, but it's still not right. Something's missing. Have you is tried using cannons? Something? Yes. Tchaikovsky, no. <laughs> Tchaikovsky, yes! Wait! Is he? I mean, I don't. He doesn't really look like him, but I wonder no. if he's ha supposed to be Ham Beethoven. Because I remember um, Ham in Hamtaro Ham Ham Heartbreak, there was the uh, hamster version of Beethoven in the piano room at Boom Manor where we played Moonlight Sonata. What was? Did he have a name or? It was just Beethoven. Okay. Yeah. But... It wasn't like Ham Toven or something or either. It's like that. Either it's Ham Toven or it's Ham Mozart because of the hair. But I yeah. Think... Probably Ham Mozart, actually. <laughs> yeah. It yeah, probably is. Amadeus Mozart. Hamadeus. Hamadeus. Yeah. Yep, that makes sense. Is it really just the fucking school bell tone? <laughs> yeah. That's fair. I guess he's telling us what to play, so and much. we're playing it back so he can listen to it and see if he likes it. Why are there like two different versions of the school bell thing? Because there's also the one that goes do 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 do. It's like the first note's different. Yeah. So the you either have the first note start well, relative mm -hmm. if the key is in C. Either it starts right. on do or it starts on re. Which one do you prefer? Oh fuck! I already forgot uh, what the key hell change. Are you guys for? feeling the emotions? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, emotion, I guess. Mid-song uh, key change! <laughs> I probably prefer the one that starts on Ray, because then it ends on So, which is just a nicer note to end on. Because it's a perfect fifth, and so, you know, no. just like how far. Well, it's is like there. the second half is usually the same on the one that starts on Do, though. Yeah. Like, it's, ju it's just the first note that's different and nothing else. Yeah. 
It went off the that paper. Key Masterpiece. Look that key change. That's identical to the song that's actually playing in the school in this area. Oh, he's crying. Yeah, it is. I is know. he satisfied oh. or is he crushed? He's Thank satisfied. you! Thanks to you, I can finish a song for the ages! Wait, then how come it's already Aww. playing? As a token of my thanks, let me give you this. It's oh. just panda. Oh, dude, oh, the, really the hamster, 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 hamster cart? cart? Oh, let's go. So does this hamster defy time? Because the song that he's composing is already playing. <laughs> yeah. Let's go back to the clubhouse. No. no. <laughs> okay, this, now we know that, that I can. At, at Imagine telling your friends, like, all right, guys, let's go home, and then you just don't. <laughs> <laughs> Taro is trying to flex his power. In the piano. It's just a power trip. All right, trip. that's it. It's just a power Time to trip. go in the piano. <laughs> I think it's actually an organ. No, we're in Oregon. <laughs> I'm in Idaho. I don't know about you guys. You are not. Oh my God, that reminds me of something. <laughs> okay, okay. It's not true, I'm not in Idaho. So yesterday, yesterday, uh, in the mail, I got uh, something uh, from like an eye doctor, saying that it's time for my annual eye appointment. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, there's just one like, and you know, it's like you know, people get this now and then. Uh, there's just one thing about this uh this thing. Okay. I read that it said my last appointment was in April of 2002. Oh. Huh. That's not right. Is that true? From this eye doctor it was because this was the eye doctor I went to when I got my first pair of glasses when I was five. No, no, I was still four at the time. <laughs> Turtle thing! And I lived in Idaho at that time. I moved out of Idaho two months later, but they still sent that to me in 2021. What? Wait, in from all of Idaho? These years, in all of these yeah, years from Idaho. I've known you, I never knew you lived in Idaho. I lived in Idaho for like a year or two. It's nothing special. Huh. Were you in Oregon first before that? Yes, I was. Nice. Damn, imagine going from somewhere sick like Oregon to somewhere fucking lame. <laughs> but, but like the thing is they sent this to, to this address from Idaho and the thing is you know this was a conscious decision because the last appointment date was written in pen. Oh, oh that's hilarious. I bet the, the office assistant that had to do that was just cursing the, the administration. Maybe she Why wasn't. Or maybe she just wasn't she was probably just, like, writing this stuff down, not even really, like, thinking about <laughs> it. I don't know. I feel this like I would I would wonder. Thing. Seems we to me like either thing, that right? hamster that's in there that seems like it's eating their turtle food isn't actually eating turtle food, or they're just fucking weird. <laughs> right, because as you, as, as, I don't know, Evan, Evan and Gabe, if you notice, we just gave some turtle food to the guys by the organ who were wanting yeah, to try it and, and they hated were... it. They weren't, all, they weren't all for it. No, they're like, disgusting! It turns out, turtle food wasn't delicious. Indeed, what any taste was just we too simple for me. We solved that, you fucking dickhead. You didn't even uh, eat it! From the about? theater? I understand. I, Inspector Hams, feel a new case calling me. Well, friends, I must be going. Anyway, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, right, right, right. Why is right. his name so, uh, turtle food? Turtle food is not delicious, but it is still dangerously addictive. Oh yeah. dear. Oh, so like heroin. Yeah, that, well, damn, that's facts. I guess it's just an acquired taste. Yep. Oh, that's just true. Like yeah, maybe it is acquired. No, no, no. It's not even like, like it's just it's just dangerously yeah. addictive. So like you have it, you're like, God, I hated that. I want <laughs> but you oh, still more. want to but have more. My physiology more of it. is urging me to continue consuming. Yes. <laughs> it's like that. Uh, Ooh, oh, no. I forgot who the characters were, but like there's a scene in a show where it's like. Oh, there's this Gal. scene in this one show where this character does this thing. I don't. Evan, really I'm going to pick you that. up and then drop you off a two foot drop so that you'll be like, ah, oh, what the fuck? Um, <laughs> what uh, you won't you won't punch him in the solar plexus? No, I don't want to. Fold <laughs> he didn't man, like, punch me in the solar plexus. He just kind of gave me a light Have whack, to? and it just happened to be in the solar plexus. <laughs> plexus. <laughs> and um, you collapse like a uh, what a collapses brick. paper. Uh, oh, okay. A so this gal like hugs this dude and the guy it's was Omar. like oh god what the fuck was that 
And she was like, affection? And he's like, ugh, disgusting. Come <laughs> in. I thought about going somewhere I hadn't seen, so I went out on a journey again. Oh, that's what's up. But I ran out of places to go to. <laughs> he didn't say that. Right but now I'm taking a rest, but he's still moving. Sure, I'd like yeah. to go to Rainbow Theater. It's called Active Rest. Active Rest. Yeah. Yeah. Like when I'm like asleep and I'm fucking perpetually rolling. Resting. Fucking screw that. Yeah. Just perpetually rolling in a circle. Yeah. Yes. Perpetually rolling here. in the deep. We yep. call that when I was a kid, um my brother would um constantly turn at night in the same direction, so he would wake up and have all his blankets burritoed around him. We would call that <laughs> <laughs> we would call that rototilling. <laughs> Roto That's gangster. Carrie just like created a melee tech term right there. Roto tilling. <laughs> I feel like roto tilling is like a. Uh, oh, Carrie, we like get Dharma doll now. A Yoshi Yay. exclusive tech. I don't know why. It just feels like you do. You do like an. You do his like neutral B egg cancel. What the fuck are they trying to do? Are they eating something? Well, they're talking. Just. Maybe they're nom, 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 I love things doing. that sway and roll. Just don't roll off the cloud, Starma doll, when you get there. <laughs> you're gonna need something to hold you in place when you're in train, otherwise you're gonna bounce. Alright, Gabe, 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 what's the what's the process of uh rototilling? Okay, so first you have to play Yoshi. Um so you know how his uh his side B is like his egg roll, right? Yeah. Okay. So what rototilling is, is when you use Yoshi's side B, what you can do is on... So, I believe it has... Side B, his side B has a lot of startup frames. I think it's like between like... 16 or something like that. Something really bad. That's why you never use it. But, if you were to rototill, basically what you do is... Um, if you input up B, and Yoshi is in his first three to seven startup frames of throwing his egg. If you rototill, he will instantly hop in his egg. So, what you can do is, you can use it as, as you know, Yoshi does uh, short hop canceling because his jump cancels are really good. So, if you short hop cancel as Yoshi and input up B between the first three to seven frames and you instantly hit side B on the controller, thus buffering in a way that happens um, that prioritizes Yoshi's side B, what will happen is you'll start rototilling and be able to pop in your egg super fast. So it's a good mix-up option. Pretty unsafe, though, because of the fact that, you know, Yoshi's side B isn't that great and it's still kind of slow. Attack. But if you're, I don't sure, know, say, attack. let's see. Oh, Has I don't know. No let's weaknesses. say you jump cancel Nair, jump cancel Nair, like uh, the AMSA standard, jump cancel Nair, jump cancel Nair, up B. Uh, if you add... Rototilling instead of the up B, what you can do is you can knock the opponent higher off. Um, especially effective on Yoshi's Island, you know, Found the Dreams, uh, probably FD is probably really good too. Um, basically, any place with a blast zone that's high up, but also far out too. All right, now Gabe made this wow. up. Gabe made this up, but this is exactly what technical melee play is like. And it's why I don't, I honestly don't believe that in today's day and age, in this day and age, Melee can be enjoyed by anyone who isn't a pro player. <laughs> mm. I, I went sure. to a I'm Melee not... tournament once with a friend, and I was confused the entire time. <laughs> so, uh, I can vouch for that. I mean, as a spectator, all you really need to know about Melee or any other Smash Bros. game is, get guy off stage, you win. <laughs> <laughs> gangs. You know, that's very true, and someone, even someone like me, can understand that. Mm -hmm. too. Someone like me who's never played a video game before in my life, except for Harry, this one. You are camping so hard right now. <laughs> I don't know what you that know. means. You don't know what camp is? Ugh. <laughs> oh, all right. When this part ends, I'll explain to you current lingo. Get on the freaking camp, fellas! <laughs> Is that wait? Hang on, capping. Is that when you uh, you say something, but then you don't want people, but but it's like a cover for something else. And so, like, I don't want people to know something is true, so I 
I basically lie about it and I try to try to cover it up. You know, I put a cap on it so you don't you don't see the truth. Yeah, Carrie doesn't that, want people to know that. I've never heard I mean, that phrase well, if, before. If you, I mean, if you're if somebody says like you're talking, someone says that's cap. They're telling you that you're lying. Or like if you're yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Carrie's lying that's because awesome. she doesn't want people to know that she's actually a gamer. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm 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 half I'm half Gen Z, so my half Gen Z side figure that out. Good job, Carrie. Yes.